Joe Baker here from the Edit Bay. I hope everybody had a great holiday. I got the gift that keeps on giving this year, Element 3D version 2. So I thought I'd share my first impressions with you. Before I do that, I should tell you, I am by no means a 3D artist. I've never worked with a dedicated 3D app such as Cinema 4D or 3DS Max. All of the 3D work I've done has been right here in Element or in Photoshop. Photoshop is clunky to say the least. It's extremely slow. So even with stills, I do tend to uh, send everything over to After Effects and do my uh, 3D work over here in Element. So let's go ahead and get started with this rundown. In addition to a whole host of new features, Video Copilot did promise some speed increases with this, which is definitely apparent. In fact, I created this comp right here and I'm recording this tutorial on my laptop just to prove that point. I'm running at half res right here and as you can see, this is pretty responsive considering I've got a lot going on right here. I've got some, I've got a particle layer uh, for that haze, you know, smoke element, of course, um, element 3D, and I've also got shallow depth of field with the camera. So this is all pretty responsive. I'm definitely happy with that. Um, the new features that everybody was requesting was the ability for Element to cast shadows. And I wanted to go ahead and share my experience with that. Again, I'm not an experienced 3D artist, so I'm sure if you are an experienced 3D artist, you're going to say, yep, of course, Joe, of course that's the situation. But I know on Video Copilot, when they were advertising this plugin, uh, what they did is they had 3D extruded text on a background. And it just it kind of looked to me as you know inexperienced that it was just a solid layer that they lined up the 3d text to and shined a light on it to get these uh, shadows right here uh, and what i learned through try, try error is that uh, element 3d does not work like that so although it does have the ability to cast shadows it can only cast shadows onto itself meaning this background layer right here was actually created in element this is part of the same group or excuse me, part of the same um, instance of element, just on a separate group. So this could just as easily be, you know, aligned with a solid layer in your After Effects comp, and then made to be invisible, so that we only, so it, so that it appears that it is casting a shadow on that um, solid layer. Um, but that is something you might want to keep in mind. I know this might be a silly assumption by me, uh, not being a 3D artist, but that's something I did have to learn way. They've also revamped the uh, user interface of the screen setup page. So let me go ahead and shut off some of this stuff so that things will run a little bit smoother. All right, come up here to the element layer, effect controls, and enter the scene setup. So right off the bat, we can see things are a little bit different. We've got this grid over here, which is a little bit more consistent with uh, dedicated 3D apps. Looks a lot nicer. We've got some new scene materials down here. Um, Another question I had, and I searched Video Copilot for an answer, and I unfortunately was unable to find it, so I'm happy to report that if you had pro shaders from version 1 of Element 3D, those will still work in version 2, because I know they are still selling a, um, a second version of pro shaders, which I know it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, if you do have that question, they will still work. That's what I have. I have not upgraded to the version 2 of the pro shaders. Um, I do still have the... Uh, the materials right here for pro shaders from version one. I'm also really happy with the way that this uh, thing has been redesigned. And like I said, it is more consistent with a dedicated 3D app, but it's also really easy to duplicate things with inside of here. In fact, um, if you just use the uh, keyboard commands that you would in Audition and Premiere, where you uh, hold down the Alt or Option key, left click and drag, you can actually duplicate any element within your scene, which is really handy if you are creating a complex scene. Go ahead and delete that real quick. I'm going to close this out, go back over here to the uh, After Effects interface. So a lot of the additional features that we have down here um, have to do, we've got subsurface scattering now. Uh, ambient occlusion as well as shadows can now be cast onto a background, which is what you can see. I did this here. I did that right here. Uh, fog is still the same, motion blur still works the same. We now have reflection options as well. So I don't want to repeat a lot of the stuff that they've already covered on Video Copilot's website, but I think the purpose of this tutorial was just to explain that, you know, this is an awesome plugin for somebody like me who has not really, you know, dived into 3D head first. I'm just kind of, I use it as needed. I use it mostly to extrude text, to be quite honest. Uh, but the speed with this program is, is, worth its weight in gold. If you've ever worked with uh, Photoshop and done 3D in Photoshop, it's ridiculously slow and the, the results are not fan <laughs> not fantastic. So even with working with stills, if you want to do extrude some text, 
it's actually worth it just to send that Photoshop comp or Photoshop project over to After Effects and add that text right here in Element. It's lightning fast. And if you're like me and you're learning and you want to be creative and try new things and fiddle around with the program until you can create something, you're going to want that speed. You really are. You're not going to want to be messing around, moving the playhead and then waiting for stuff to render and you know having your computer freeze up. Excellent, excellent, excellent plugin. As I get more familiar with this plugin, I'd be happy to put some more tutorials together for those of you guys who request any. Um, as always, feel free to leave a comment in the box below. Until next time, I'm Joe Baker with the Edit Bay. Take care.